Greetings to you from Garage Number 1. Stories about legends, it is series about most iconic cars in the world. Today we will talk about Audi RS6 C7. It may not be our favorite fastest 8 car, that accolade goes to the Mercedes AMG E63, but Audi's RS6 Avant has an appeal that we just can't ignore. Its quattro all-wheel drive chassis generates huge levels of grip that allows you to exploit every single one of its 552 brake horsepower produced by its twin-turbocharged V8 no matter the conditions beneath its 20-inch Pirelli shot alloy wheels. Jump in the new RS6 performance and the intensity of the delivery across the board increases to deliver a more rounded and intoxicating experience, with a more potent 592 brake horsepower version of the same 4-liter V8 engine under the bonnet. Neither version of the C7 RS6 are particularly involving drives, however. The front end can feel pretty leaden when you start to push its chassis, and the steering lacks that clear feedback you'd like to have when trying to thread a 1935kg estate car along an enticing stretch of road. But it always feels hunkered down and keyed into the surface, the whole package a tight, cohesive one. When you absolutely have to get somewhere and speed and security is the crucial factor, there are very few rivals that come close to the RS6. And why on earth you would consider a turbo or supercharged SUV over one of these, we've no idea. The RS6 Avant retails at over $100,000, and comes, as they say in the trade, fully loaded. The options though still roll on through a few pages, the sports suspension with dynamic ride would be the only box we'd tick for $1,300. This avoids the woolly dynamic steering included in the $3,400 dynamic package. The almost five-figure, ceramic brakes are pointless unless you're going to take your barge on track, very unlikely we imagine. Slipping under $116,000 the performance model commands a considerable premium over the standard RS6. For some the boost in performance will be worth the extra cash. Telling your performances from your RS needs your eyes on the skirting. Bespoke front and rear bumpers as well as the mother of all rear diffusers are the differentiators. The practical wagon shape is the only available body steel for the RS6, unlike rivals such as the new BMW M5 and Jaguar XJR, which are solely saloons. The Mercedes-AMG E63 is available in both formats. For the first time the RS6's German rivals are also four-wheel drive, but largely recapture the dynamic character and handling balance of their predecessors thanks to clever electronic configuring. Thus the Mercedes and BMW are more involving to drive and enjoyable to drive. The high-performance band of range-topping SUVs, such as Porsche's Cayenne Turbo, BMW's X5M or Range Rover's Sport SVR provide indirect competition. While they're equally as practical as the Audi, an acceleration test from a standstill or rolling start would leave them dumbfounded at the sheer speed the RS6 can muster in a short distance. They have less interior space too and are more costly to run with extra heft to carry. The RS6 would get the nod from us over any SUV equivalent every time. With the C7 RS6 Avant Audi took the opportunity to embark on an engine downsizing program for its rocket sled load lugger, not that the resulting power plant was any less ferocious in terms of power and performance. The 4-liter, twin-turbocharged V8 produces 552 brake horsepower between 5,700 and 6,600 rpm, and 516 pound-feet of torque from as low as 1,750 rpm through to 5,600 rpm. The dropping of two cylinders may have resulted in 20 brake horsepower fewer compared to the outgoing V10 model, but the addition of a pair of turbochargers increased torque by 72 pound-feet of torque over the old naturally aspirated V10. With quattro traction and an 8-speed auto the RS6 has no issue getting off the line, with the 0 to 62 miles per hour time acclaimed 3.9 seconds, the kind of time you'd associate with a supercar not so long ago, not an estate car. It's not as a characterful as the V10 it replaced, but the performance of the RS6's turbo-charged V8 suits the nature of the car far better. For 2016 Audi introduced the RS6 performance. It has the same twin-turbocharged V8 but with an additional 45 brake horsepower and 37 pound-feet of torque resulting in 597 brake horsepower between 6100-6800 rpm and 553 pound-feet of torque from 2500 rpm through to 5500 rpm. As a result of the power and torque increases the claimed 0 to 62 miles per hour time drops 0.2 SEC to 3.7 SEC with top speed limited to 155 miles per hour, unless you specify the optional carbon ceramic brakes when Audi will up the limiter to 189 miles per hour. 
The RS6's engine is a remarkable collection of metals. There's no shortage of low-end shove and as the revs rise and the turbos are at full puff the V8's inherent strength takes over. There's no tailing off as the engine speeds increase either, and the linearity of its delivery is addictive. The technical highlight of the RS6's V8 is its cylinder-on-demand technology. It's a piece of tech that Audi has rolled out across many of its much smaller capacity engines of late, and works by shutting down the inlet and exhaust valves of cylinder number 2, 3, 5 and 8 when engine speed drops to a prescribed level. By switching to a four-cylinder engine the RS6 can achieve a claimed 28.8 miles per gallon on the combined cycle, a figure we matched on a number of long runs in the car impressive for a near two-ton car. For the performance model, Audi has remapped the ECU, raised the engine's rev limit and increased the turbocharger's boost level. The 8-speed gearbox shifts ratio seamlessly when you want to waft and rapid-fire quick when you need it, with every change dropping you into the meat of the V8's power and torque curve. Acceleration is relentless, with the RS6 a natural three-figure cruiser, it's 155 miles per hour, or 189 miles per hour if you've opted to have it delimited, maximum never far away. As with the engine, the performance model's gearbox has also been reworked, with the software adapted for quicker shifts and sharper responses over the standard gearbox. Audi RS6 Avents come fitted with Audi's air suspension as standard, but you can also specify sport steel springs with the sport suspension plus package. Audi's MMI control center allows you to delve into chassis options available, comfort, dynamic, or auto. The former is perfect for journeys that don't involve any kind of dynamic challenge, the dynamic setting is perfect for the track. The MMI also allows you to adjust the steering, engine map, differential and exhaust. Our preference is auto damping and steering, with the dynamic engine, differential and exhaust. The ride is remarkably quiet for such a large car with 20-inch wheels and 30 profile tires. It always feels tightly controlled and keyed into the surface without being fussy over every surface imperfection, but when those ridges and expansion joints get larger the tires thud and thump their way over them and let you know about it in the cabin. 21-inch wheels are fitted to the performance model as standard and are the only size available. And even with the optional, stiffer RS suspension fitted the ride isn't adversely affected and it's remarkably compliant considering the 30-profile Pirelli tire. Dynamically the RS6 is one to understeer before it does anything else. To avoid the front axle from being overwhelmed you need to moderate throttle and steering inputs in the early phase of the corner, get the nose tucked and then lean on the chassis colossal grip to power you out of the corner. There's good mid-corner balance and when hooked up the RS6 will flow through a series of corners without embarrassing itself. With the optional RS Sport suspension and limited slip differential fitted, the performance model improves on the standard car's impressive dynamic performance. The RS Sport suspension is designed to counteract roll and pitch by linking diagonally opposed dampers hydraulically. A central valve varies the damper's characteristics according to steering inputs and lateral and longitudinal loads, and like the standard air suspension this setup retains comfort, dynamic auto and individual modes, the latter allowing you to select comfort, auto or dynamic settings for the engine, gearbox, steering, suspension, differential, and exhaust. The chassis works on smoother sections of road, where the Audi is defined by control, traction, security and predictability, with understeer at the limit. It's a more one-dimensional device in dynamics terms without the layers of a complexity of its rivals. Naturally it covers ground at an alarming rate, but it does so without the sense of engagement and adjustability of rear-drive alternatives. Shot through with stability, it might just be the most effective day-to-day -day car in its class. With the V8's clever cylinder-on-demand technology replenishing the RS6 Avant's 75-liter fuel tank isn't the repetitive event you might imagine. On a run it will return an MPG figure in the high 20s, giving you a 300-plus mile range. However, start enjoying some of the 552 brake horsepower and that figure will drop to high teens. Go further with the throttle and you'll just scrape double figures. Head on track and with determination you could see a comedy figure of around 2 miles per gallon. Those 20-inch tires won't be cheap to replace, and the standard iron discs and pads will only take so much abuse. Even the $12,000 optional ceramic stoppers will need attention if you exploit every strand of the RS6's performance.
It's an Audi, so of course the interior is beyond question when it comes to quality and fit and finish. The flat bottom steering wheel is a bit passe and on the small side but that's really it. The standard equipment list is extensive, with some of the highlights including Matrix LED headlights, head-up display, and Audi's phone box which boosts your mobile phone's reception when connected to the car's Bluetooth. You'll also find a Bose 14 speaker stereo on the standard equipment list. If you want to play with the options you can select items such as night vision assist for $2,000, which uses a thermal image to highlight objects at night such as animals and stray humans. There is also a head-up display which costs $1,600 on the list for those who struggle to keep an eye on the instrument cluster. The RS6 might seem to trade on an enviable combination of its estate body and prodigious V8 engine, but the reality is that if it looked no different to a standard A6 or S6 estate, it's unlikely to have made quite such an impression. The C7 is no different, this time combining a bespoke body in white with rear unique doors, bumpers, and front wings. Only the bonnet, roof, tailgate and front doors are shared with other Audi A6 Avents, an incredibly resource-heavy thing to do for a single relatively low-volume model. What it does though is give the RS6 almost an identity of its own. The heavily flared arches, this time of a more modern pulled arch style rather than the retro boxes of the previous C6 RS6, define the exterior design more than any other element, dramatically changing its stance on the road. The wheels, either 20 or 21 inches, are not only taller than standard A6 models, but much wider too. The higher tire profile on the standard 20-inch units also keep the RS6 from looking underwheeled, but for maximum street credit you'll need to go for the 21s. The front mesh grills are all real, so too the massive oval exhausts giving the overall design a sense of authenticity often missing with lesser Audi models. And while it's easy to specify an RS6 to look no less ostentatious than a McLaren 720S, keep the specification subtle and it will still take those with a discerning eye to notice it. Dig into Audi's exclusive division for an extended paint and leather palette and you'll be left with one of the most desirable everyday performance cars at any price. Thank you for attention. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page and stay tuned for the next story from Garage Number 1.